Hey YouTube, this video is going to be a tutorial on just the basics overview of the FreeBSD BR808. Uh, if you didn't catch my previous tutorial, I talked about how to download VSTs into FL Studio, so you can check that out if you don't know how. But when you open up a, the BR808 VST, it'll look like this. Come up the blue window like this. Um, the first thing that you want to do is change the master volume. Um, it comes. It starts with negative almost 12 decibels. You want to bring that all the way up to zero, and then you can adjust it later in the mixer or in your pattern. But uh, it starts out really quiet, so you always want to up the volume. Uh, also, in just the general options right here, you can transpose it. You can go up. 8 semitones or up 16 semitones, which is pretty useful sometimes when you're doing uh, your bass, you want the real low notes. Um, then it has just general effects, you probably won't use them much, but if you click on the tab voice, it'll bring out different oscillator forms. And this is where it really gets interesting. So you can see right here, it has tons of different waveforms, sine waveform, triangle waveform, you know, all this white noise. One of my favorites is the super oscillator. Um, so if you just stick with the sine waveform, I'm going to paste just a little chord progression into this so you can see what it starts off like. So there you go. That's what it sounds like. Um, just as a regular sign. So it sounds decent. Um, if you try out the super oscillator, it'll come out with separate uh, options just right here. You can change the different waveform of the super oscillator. Uh, just gonna go with the sine wave. You can hear what it sounds like right now. So you can see that's pretty cool. If you go up to the sawtooth up, here's what it sounds like. So it sounds pretty cool until I stopped it, then it sounded a little weird. Um, also, something cool about BR-808 is synthesis right here. Um, it, you can do additive synthesis, subtractive synthesis, frequency modulation, ring modulation, tons of different stuff that you can do. Um, it's really cool. Uh, but we're right now we're just going to stick with additive synthesis. Again, with the super oscillator, with this oscillator out right now, um, there are several different options you can do. You can transpose it, change the color, phase, uh, volume. You can fine tune it. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can mess around with that a little bit. Uh, there's right next to the oscillators, there's the attack decay, sustain, release, envelopes, LFO, filters, distortion. Uh, I'm not going to go into that right now, but you can mess around with that on your own. It's pretty simple. If you go to, you see right here there are eight different oscillators. You can add in as many different oscillators as you want and then adjust uh, the synthesis and how they interact with each other right here. I'm probably going to stick with additive synthesis for this tutorial. Um, so I'm going to add in a pulse uh, waveform, and then you can hear what it sounds like. Make sure. Sorry, that was pretty loud for you guys. Um, I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit. So you see, you can mess around with that a lot. Uh, you can add in up to eight synthesizers. Um, it's really pretty cool. Uh, one thing that you may notice is the pluck string. Um, it, one thing bad about this BR-808 VST is the pluck string. It really kind of stinks. You can barely hear it. Sometimes you can't hear it at all. So I wouldn't recommend using a pluck string, but I will be uploading a tutorial soon on how to do a plucked sound uh, using BR-808. So there's a lot of things you can do about it. Um, so yeah, 
uh, I think that's it for this tutorial. I will be getting into a bit more on how to do specific things, but there's just a general overview. So if you like this video, go ahead and uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, uh, go ahead and give comments on how I can improve also. Thanks, see you later.